Our lunar sensors have detected multiple objects heading directly toward Earth. Are they alien ships? No, sir. Readings indicate that they're asteroids. Hundreds of them. But why didn't our deep space probes pick them up before now? That's what's so strange. They just appeared, materialized out of nowhere. They're headed right for us. There isn't time to launch countermeasures. Send out a global alert. How long till impact? Does that answer your question? Check on the monsters. Those meteors may have damaged the force field barriers. The island's taken several small hits, but... Wait a minute. Something strange is happening. It looks like some kind of crystal formations. They're growing from the impact points. My god. I've got a hunch the Vortac are behind this. An invasion can't be far behind. Right now, we've got to keep the monsters from escaping the island. Godzilla 2000. Heroes. Have something, Miku? Sir, this is a completely different crystal than what we've been seeing. Look at these radiation readings. They're off the charts. It's just surging with some strange alien force. Yes, and the monsters. They'll be drawn to that radiation. We'd better scramble a mecha unit to that location ASAP. We'll see if it can recover a sample for Dr. Shirigami. But, sir, we can't predict what effects the crystal radiation might have on our mecha. We might be placing them in danger. We'll have to risk it, Miku. Prepare Kuryu for immediate launch. Attention, this is not a drill. Initiate Kuryu launch sequence. The monsters can sense the power in these crystals, but we can't know their intentions. Godzilla 2000. <laughs>
minus 20. The harbor is frozen solid. We're buried down here, mate. The crystals seem to be generating the storm. It's like another ice age. I don't know how much longer we can hold on. Wait a minute. Crikey, what's that? Some kind of enormous rising crystal formation. It's... it's alive! Watch it, mate! It's about to fire on us! Pull back! Pull back! Ah! Godzilla 2000 So, gentlemen, as you can see, we are faced with a global-scale disaster. Several major cities have been infected by these giant crystals. You are all too aware of the catastrophic effect they're having on the planet. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, severe climate shifts. They're even beginning to affect Earth's gravitational flow. Not to mention that we now have monsters running loose, right, Commander? Their failure to contain the monsters has only worsened our predicament. That's not fair. It was the crystal meteors. They caused the monsters to escape. There was no way we could have- Miku, enough. Young lady, Admiral Gyozen, please. The escaped monsters have not yet posed a critical threat. These crystals could, however, potentially rip this entire planet apart. We must take action to stop them from spreading further. Or I fear this could be the end of civilization as we know it. Solutions, people! Well, since this council seems to be out of ideas, I propose we recommission the Atragon. It's the largest vessel available to us. Our Mesa weapons have proven ineffective against the crystals. I'll use Atragon's drill nose to shatter them from underground. Admiral, with all due respect, it has been ten years since you captained the Atragon. The ship is in no condition for battle. Surely you can't be suggesting- The Atragon is our best hope of destroying this crystal menace. No one has a better understanding of the ship's capabilities than myself. Now I will resume my command of the Atragon, with the Council's approval, of course. Look, gentlemen, there isn't time for discussion. It's time to take action! Once I have regained control of Atragon, it will be time to settle an old score.
Godzilla 2000. Mega Heroes. Godzilla 2000 Paragon <laughs>
<laughs> Hello? If, if anyone can hear me, we've got like volcanoes erupting everywhere. Seattle's like buried in lava and it's getting kind of toasty. A little help here, maybe? Thanks. Uh, you global defense dude, rock! Whoa! Hey, we've got monsters here! No way! Gotta go! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are currently facing the greatest threat the world has ever seen. Our planet is being torn apart by the giant space crystals and the extreme meteorological transformations that have accompanied them. We have already confirmed that San Francisco is in ruins, destroyed by massive earthquakes. Sydney has become a frozen wasteland. Volcanoes have erupted in the middle of Seattle. And that's not the worst of it. Dr. Shirigami, this is a closed session. What is the meaning of this intrusion? Dr. Shirigami? He's the world's leading expert on giant monsters. If the Council will allow me, I've just made a startling discovery that has a bearing on these proceedings. Very well, Doctor. Proceed. And this had better be important. As you already know, giant crystals have manifested in all of Earth's major cities, causing destruction on an unprecedented scale. However, I've recently discovered the emergence of a new, more powerful type of crystal. Distinguishable by a bright, colorful aura of energy surging from its core. Our initial analysis has determined that these crystals did not originate from our galaxy. And more importantly, the radiation they emit is triggering some unusual reactions from the monsters. It seems to be drawing them in and in some cases, the monsters are actually attacking these crystals. Attacking them? If that is the case, Doctor, then I fail to see the cause for alarm. Yes. Earth's guardian monsters must know that the crystals are harming the planet. The Earth is their home, and they will protect it by destroying them. Don't be absurd. These are mindless beasts we're talking about. The simple explanation is that they are hungry for the power that these crystals generate. You may both be correct. Although their motivations are unclear, one thing is for certain. Some of the monsters actually appear to be growing stronger and more powerful than ever from their interactions with these special crystals. My theory is that these monsters are actually absorbing the radiation surges and that these surges are altering their DNA somehow. These mutations are giving rise to emergent abilities we've never seen before. Doctor, what's the bottom line? What kind of threat are we facing here? Our simulations suggest that monsters, as they absorb this power surge radiation, could become unstable. A point of critical mass, if you will. The consequences of which could be catastrophic. There is no force on Earth that could withstand the potential destructive power of one of these titans once it reaches critical mass. Sir, that won't happen. I know Earth's monsters will work together to destroy these things. I've heard enough. Our course of action is clear. We cannot allow the monsters to become even more powerful. For the sake of humanity, they must be destroyed at all costs. No! You only want revenge for your failed battles against Godzilla. When will you learn? The monsters are not our enemies. If we give them time, they will destroy the crystals. Miku, please. The Admiral's right, I'm afraid. We can't just stand by and let the monsters run amok. We have to do our job. Thank you, Commander. And I'd also like to thank you to keep your protege on her leash. Gentlemen, the Etragon is being readied for departure as we speak. In the meantime, Shirigami, I believe, is continuing his research to try and unlock the secrets of these alien crystals. I don't know what he's doing. But it won't be enough if our monsters don't fight this menace together. Godzilla 2000. I'll roll that.
Godzilla 2000. Mohira. Interesting. Earth's monsters are gaining power from these crystals. But where did they come from? No matter. I must have them to strengthen our own monsters if we are to be victorious. There isn't time to wait for repairs. I will send one of you, my pets. You will head to the surface, steal the crystals, and return them to me. With their power, I will make you the most fearsome monster in all the universe! <laughs> Godzilla 2000. Oh, God. 